biomass energy biomass energy biomass is the organic matter which is used as fuel to produce energy it includes food agricultural wastes such as crop residues and cow dung since long wood is being used as a fuel to produce heat energy this traditional use of wood has many disadvantages such as smoke that causes air pollution also wood has a low calorific value which is 17 kilojoules per gram with improvement in the technology for using the conventional sources of energy wood can be converted into a much better fuel called charcoal charcoal is black substance prepared by burning the wood in a limited supply of air to remove water and other volatile substances present in the wood this charcoal does not produce smoke while burning and has a higher calorific value than wood which is 33 kilojoules per gram therefore charcoal produces more heat on burning than wood cow dung also known as cattle dung or animal dung is the excreta of cattle such as cows and buffaloes traditionally cow dung is used in villages as a fuel to cook food this direct use of cow dung has many disadvantages such as more smoke and large amount of residue in the form of ash to overcome these advantages it is advisable to prepare biogas or gobar gas from cow dung The biogas thus formed is a clean smokeless fuel after extracting the biogas the spent cow dung can be used as manure in agricultural fields it is however not good to burn cow dung directly as a fuel because of the following disadvantages one cow dung contains important elements like nitrogen and phosphorus called nutrients which are required by the soil to support crops so burning of dung in the form of dung cakes destroys the useful nutrients which can otherwise be used as a manure in agriculture two dung cakes produce a lot of smoke on burning which causes air pollution three dung cakes do not burn completely they produce lot of ash as residue four dung cakes have low calorific value or low heat producing value biogas is a mixture of methane carbon dioxide hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide the major constituent of biogas is methane let us see how the biogas plant is constructed a biogas plant consists of a well shaped underground tank called digester which is made of bricks and has a dome shaped roof on left side of the digester tank is a sloping inlet chamber and on the right side there is a rectangular outlet chamber the digester is a sealed tank in which there is no air or oxygen the dome of the digester tank acts as a gas holder or storage tank for the biogas and has a gas outlet at the top with a valve The inlet chamber is for introducing fresh dung slurry into the main digester tank whereas the outlet chamber is for taking out the spent dung slurry after the extraction of biogas. The inlet chamber is connected to a mixing tank while the outlet chamber is connected to the overflow tank. We will now describe the working of the biogas plant. cow dung and water are mixed in equal proportions in the mixing tank to prepare the slurry this slurry of dung and water is fed into the digester tank through the inlet chamber the digester tank is filled with dung slurry up to the cylindrical level the dome being left free for the collection of biogas it takes about 50 to 60 days for the new gas plant to become operative During this period the cow dung undergoes degradation by anaerobic bacteria in the presence of water with the gradual evolution of biogas this biogas starts collecting in the dome as more and more biogas collects in the dome it exerts pressure on the slurry in the digester tank and forces the spent slurry to go into overflow tank 
through the outlet chamber. From the overflow tank, the spent slurry is removed gradually. The slurry is rich in nitrogen and phosphorus compounds and hence forms good manure. The biogas which has collected in the dome of the digester tank is taken out through the outlet and supplied to village homes through a network of pipes to be used as a cooking gas.